Hello everyone, I'm Nina Hartley and welcome to Tuesdays with Nina. So, um, today's question is from a woman uh, who is married to a man with cerebral palsy. They've been married 17 years and got married on the young side with not a whole lot of experience. And they have done a lot with... Um, well, she feels they've done as much as they can, and she wants to know now that she's 40 and her sex drive is really going through the roof. She wants some advice on how she can they can work together to satisfy her more. Um, and they specifically want to keep it within the marriage. They're not looking for a third party. They're no, not going to be hiring any gigolos anytime soon. Um, but she says she's getting tired of cowgirl position. And there's lots she can do to please him, but there's this little he can do to please her. Uh, she loves him. They're not looking to break up, but she just wants to know, oh my gosh, what is she going to do with her, with her horniness? And... Uh, Well, there's the fact of a cerebral palsy, which does, uh, as some of you probably already know, uh, does involve a difficulty in having uh, really smooth conscious control over one's movements. Movements can be very spastic and jerky, and the more the person tries to calm down and and work smoothly, the more the nerve uh, impulses um, get all uh, mixed up, and they can often have difficulty in doing things smoothly. Um, does not in, in any way involve intelligence. Uh, people with cerebral palsy are perfectly normal intelligence, and it's just the expression. And it can be mild or to a lot. Uh, some people can walk, of course, and some people are stuck in wheelchairs because they don't walk very well. And I appreciate, you know, wanting to get out of cowgirl and into other positions, but the fact remains is your husband isn't able to kneel behind you for doggy or to lie you on your back and get on top of you and have sex that way. Um, and that is a loss uh, to be accepted and recognized and mourned, not dwelled upon, uh, because it's nobody's fault, but it is, uh, it is a loss. Now, there is a great piece of gear called the monkey rocker, just like it sounds, M-O-N-K-E-Y-R-O-C-K-E-R, designed for people in similar situations as you. Um, it doesn't, it's a toy, it's a, it's a, well, it's a piece of gear, it's a, it's a glide, a glide rocker uh, ottoman with a special split seat, and I don't know how they did this, but they have created a situation where you can attach a, um, dildo to the rocker and depending on which way you face uh, every time you look at your hips you are penetrating yourself and it it is still female sitting upright but it is a different kind of hip movement and motion that is uh, created than regular cowgirl it's a little more swivelly or looser hipped things and it certainly is uh, very, very easy. So it's actually less work to penetrate yourself on a monkey rocker than it is to sit up on your husband and do cowgirl that way. It's just very fluid, very, it's a really great piece of gear actually. It's very intuitive and just again a little bit of, a little bit of wiggling um, on it and it's just wild. So as soon as you think, oh I'd like it to be this way, it's that, it is that way. It's quite, quite ingenious and it was designed for a couple uh, the husband, which actually has cerebral palsy and was not able to make love with his wife as he would like. And she, as you, did not want to go outside the relationship and wasn't looking for another lover or anything like that. And here's what um, was developed for people just like them. Actually, it's developed by a Christian couple who themselves are not disabled but are also monogamous and wanted to, to create things both to help people who are able-bodied as well as a help to those who are uh, not quite so fortunate. So, you can look into the monkey rocker device. Um, if your husband has hand control, um, you might be able to devise a way for him to, uh, some kind of harness that he can hold a dildo in his hand. Um, he won't be able to grip it because his grip is probably not as strong as it needs to be. With some kind of ingenious harness thingy, <laughs> you might be able to um, work with uh, him using toys inside of you while you while you masturbate, and he might be able to do that. Um, keep being open to each other. Acknowledge your frustration. Um, grieve with it. Mourn over it. Um, don't 
sweep it under the rug. You don't have to dwell on it and, and harp on it, but you also, it's not healthy to pretend it's not an issue because it's an issue. And I know you're only 40, um, and this is your, your decade of highest, um, highest uh, sex energy, and I commend you for trying to uh, find ways to work around it. Um, and I will have to ask, ask around more and see what I can find from people who might know more about this particular thing than I do. But in the meantime, keep doing what you're doing, which is being loving toward each other and seeing each other as sexual beings because you know it's true. I'm Nina Hartley. This is Tuesdays with Nina. And please direct your questions to me, Tuesdays with Nina at gmail.com. And the wonderful Miss Victoria will forward them on to me. And until next week, be happy. Bye-bye.